What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Durkie Chan. Today, I'm going to do a comparison of two very popular North Face zip-up jackets. Here, we have the classic North Face Apex Bionic jacket. One of my all-time favorite jackets to wear to work, to the office. Very clean looking. Dress it up, dress it down. This jacket works. And we're going to compare it with the... You got it. North Face Denali. Another popular North Face jacket. Used to see this all around college campuses. It kind of died down a bit, but it is a great fleece jacket. Super casual. Personally, I wouldn't wear this into the office, but if I'm wearing it to a football game, weekend barbecue, I would be rocking this. So I'm going to start with the uh, Apex jacket. The reason why I picked up this jacket is the wind resistance of this jacket is absolutely amazing. It has this wind wall technology from North Face. And this thing blocks out a lot of wind. Whereas the Denali, the wind kind of just seeps through uh, these fleecy parts. So if you're looking for a wind resistant jacket, definitely pick the Apex over the Denali. Again, price wise, the Apex will cost you 160 and then the, and the Denali would cost you 180. So there is a $20 price difference and we'll get into uh, what that extra $20 gets you on the Denali that you don't get on the Apex. But on Apex, you get a standard North Face jacket. I kind of am disappointed at how they removed the sleeve adjustments. Uh, previous Apex jackets, they had the sleeve adjustments, but they don't have it now. So, uh, you know, gonna have to ding them a point for that. But other than that, I love the zippers. They never fail on me. Uh, Napoleon pocket. Easy access and two side hand warmer pockets. And then if you open up the jacket, you get this nice fleece lined material. Again, super wind resistant. As for water resistance, they have a coating over this. It will repel water all throughout the jacket. So usually I wear this going to the office and I absolutely love it. All right, so let's go over the Denali. So very similar uh, pocket setup. You got the two side pockets and the Napoleon. But you do get this extra chest horizontal pocket. And you get these nice armpit vents that the Apex Bionic jacket doesn't have. So it would be nice if they did add those uh, armpit vents into the Apex jacket. Sometimes this thing can get a bit steamy because of the airflow restriction. And both of these jackets also have the uh, waist cinch cord. So if you're if you're looking for something super cozy that you could wear around the house, just relax. The Denali is definitely the go-to one. It's a lot more softer, a lot more flexible to wear than the Apex. Apex is kind of rigid, kind of stiff to wear, so not as comfortable. So yeah, it really boils down to that. If you want comfort over Everything else, Denali, that extra $20 will get you there. But if you're looking for windproof, you know, I'm going on a hike, I'm going on a 30-minute trek, definitely throw on the Apex. The Denali, man, I don't know why. They say on the website that the Denali is warmer than the Apex. I kind of have to disagree. When it's super windy outside, the wind seeps right through this fleece, polar fleece fabric, and it gets you pretty chilly. But this material keeps the wind out. This uh, polyester material up here, the shell material. All right, guys, let's go into the on fit. The Denali is a more relaxed fit. So this is a size medium and it's pretty generous. I could fit a hoodie in there, no problems, no issues with zipping it up. Whereas for the Apex, this is a standard fit. Layering a hoodie under this can be a bit restrictive. So if you're gonna uh, wear the Apex Bionic jacket with bulky hoodies underneath, definitely consider sizing up. Now, the only problem is when you size up, these sleeves can get a bit long. For me, you know, I end up rolling up these sleeves just to get it to the right length. But yeah, let's jump into the on-fit look. All right, so here is the Apex Bionic jacket. It's regular fit jacket. Means it has decent amount of room in the chest and in the midsection. Arms are generous. Quite a bit longer than I would like, but overall this jacket fits fine with a t-shirt, with a light sweater, with a hoodie, kind of tight, 
when you try to zip it up so definitely consider growing up one size if you're gonna always be wearing it with a hoodie I like to wear it uh, zipped up quarter way or you can unzip it uh, the collar lays pretty flat so it's not smacking you in the face if you were to spread it out flat but yeah as you can see the sleeves are pretty long Denali all right relaxed fit jacket definitely like the sleeves of the Denali a bit more since it bunches up and it doesn't hang off on my wrist but this jacket is so comfortable switching between the two jackets I could tell holy cow the Denali it's a freaking teddy bear so soft but yep you get those two extra side pockets with the Denali Check out the uh, sweet armpit action. But yeah, this jacket definitely so cozy, and it's the main selling point of it. So yeah, that's all I have, guys. Definitely consider these two jackets. One's for comfort, one's more for everyday work. So yeah, ciao!